Hey you guys, this is Snowy88. Today I am going to do something very different. I'm going to check out uh, what happens if we put some computer media underground. Uh, the idea is very simple. I will take a picture of myself, just of myself, and I will put it on several media. I have one last CD-ROM. It's the very last one I have. I have an USB key here. I even have a 3M floppy drive which still works. And last but not least I have a um, very old, what is it? It's a Itachi Destar 40 gigabyte hard drive. All these four things will contain the same uh, picture and to prove it this is the well the thing I'm draw today it's today 30 June of 2017 and it's now in the middle of the night so tomorrow it still will be 30 of June 2017 you see it's half past four it's in the middle of the night anyway and the idea is to put this container this kind of Tupperware container with all these items underground in my backyard so I will close it up uh, somewhat further, I will put some plastic around it and maybe I will tape, uh, do some duct tape around it to be absolutely sure that there will be no moisture at it because, well, if of any of all, all those items there will be moisture, well, the floppy drive will be... The floppy itself, uh, I'm sorry, will be uh, <laughs> history. USB drives don't like moisture either. CDs are, well, they can get wet and whenever you dry them without problems, then they will be readable. And hard, drive, hard drives, of course, they'll, they don't like water at all. So, uh, well, this will be a long-term project, so... Uh, I will now make a picture of myself and I will copy it to all these um, things. So let me take a picture of myself first and set it to the to the computer. So and then I will show you that I copy it to all these items so you can see it and then I put it in this thing. So I see you uh, I see you soon. So there guys I'm back and I've made a Wonderful picture of myself. Look at me. What a handsome little guy, isn't it? <laughs> so I'm going to copy this picture and let's put it away now. It's this file and let's start with the USB key. Well, that will be a lot of trouble, I guess, because I always put it in the wrong way. It won't fit. It, it is whoever invented the USB. <laughs> yes. All right. There it goes. Okay. So I also named the drive. Can you read it? Underground. Well, it's not very good readable because my monitor is not uh, cooperating. But it's J. And J has, well, 8 gigabytes of space. Well, that's enough. I'm sorry for the flickering, guys. I cannot help it. But I will copy my... Oh, man. Come on. Okay. Did you see that? I copy it to the uh, J drive. So, the USB stick has my picture on it now. Alright, now we go to the floppy drive. Well, this thing is closed. Let's put it in here. 
And now we have to make sure it fits. Let's see. You go to the let's go to the A drive. Ooh, does it does this fit? I'm not I'm not sure of it actually. Let's copy it to it. That's a sound some uh, older folks will recognize from the past. I think most uh, youth uh, people don't recognize it either. They even don't know what a floppy drive is. Yeah, it's a rectangular thing which could contain 1.4 megabytes of data. <laughs> so, only one picture fits on an entire disk. If it not fits, uh, then I will compress it slightly to 95% because it's now uncompressed. But if it fits, it does fit. And there's still 33k of... Okay, and uh, let's check it. That goes fine. Alright, that's the floppy drive. The floppy night floppy I mean so let it no let's get this oh, come on you little devil up okay so now it's right protected okay guys from the future these things we use why I cannot focus it what what is what is wrong with this camera I have a Samsung Galaxy S, 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 S7 and it has autofocus but it all the things it does it does not focus at all focus well whatever ah, this is very annoying what look if things are in the distance you can focus on them all right these things were used heavily in the 90s. Uh, those have two. Those have two holes. So these are HD discs, but you also have them in DD discs. And I used them the most in the early 90s when I had a Commodore Amiga computer. So these things were magical at those days. Nice little tiny, well, portable sort of kind of USB sticks. Well, it only fits uh, it only fits 1.4 megabytes, and on the uh, Commodore Amiga, there would only fit 880 kilobytes of information. But well, in those days, there were lots of nice games uh, which just fitted on one such disc or two disc of or three disc or whatever. So, uh, we have finished it, so I will put it away, I will put it here with the USB. Now we've got the hard drive there, and the hard drive is, let's see, that's the I drive, it's also called underground, it's 80 gig, so that is easy, so I click copy and I click OK, and it's, it's there. So, easy as pie. Okay, I will disable it. Oh. <clears throat> Always nice having a docking station, but it's just too far away to reach it properly. And the button is always, always, ugh. so far away. And uh, here we, we have it. So this drive has been made and these you cannot read it but it says here December 2005 so it's already an old drive it's already now more than 11 years old but doesn't matter it goes in there as well so the only thing what remains is the CD-ROM come on you little uh, 
Yes, that's that's the only thing I hate about my my case. It's because this thing just falls off. All right. Now let's. Okay, let's put it in there, just like that. Huh? Okay. Now we need uh, some burning program. I select image burn. I want to write files to a disk. File. Browse for a source file. Well, the only source file I have is on the RAM disk and that's my only picture I have. And I want to write it to the... Uh, this one. Calculate! <laughs> oh man, it's actually it's a kind of waste, you know. I click verify to be sure. Burn. Uh, yes, just burn it. Okay. Now it has to write complete lead ins and, and, and other things. Uh, write speed of 6 speed just to write down a 1.4 megabytes sized file. Well, it's insane. Oh, it eats it uh, back. That's it because it's verifying. In the meanwhile, I will pull down the this drive, the floppy drive, otherwise it's bugging everything, every time I am trying to use, oh, it's done. Files currently on the disk, alright, so, it's, it's good, so we take the, the CD-ROM as well. So we have now all four items containing my picture and let's see how can we put this the, the best way in this box. Well, it was, it's already difficult now because I'm holding the camera and trying to get the lid off with just one hand. Okay, I have it. Okay, I think uh, we will... Let's place the hard drive first, because the bottom part is a bit smaller than the upper part, and I think the CD-ROM is a big bit taller. Now, this, this thing will fit there. The floppy drive will fit there, and this thing will fit there. So, I think this will do. I will close it. So, okay, um, what I will do now is I will shut down the camera now for a while and set it on its stand so you can see, watch me uh, um, make it uh, close up. So, be back in a minute. So, hey you guys, I'm back. I've collected some, uh, some bags to put uh, <coughs> our, our drives and our, our optical media and the floppy and the USB stick in. So let's do this. I will start first with this with this bag. Let's put it in like this. Like that. Let's see, I need a scissor. I have a scissor over here. So, just a small amount of duct tape to keep this together. Then I have this other, other one. And I put this 
the other way around in this. Sorry for my bad English folks because I'm Dutch and well English is not my second language, sadly not. So you will have to do with it. And also for this Alright, to if there is any moisture coming through this bag, then I will do this upside down now and make sure this is turned this is turned down like this. I hope this tape is long enough to do this. Well Let's tape it good. Okay. You know, in Midbusters they created an entire boat of this stuff, so basically it should be no problem to put something on underground for such a time. This is the uh, the last the last bag of defense before it goes underground tomorrow. So, so Mr. Jumbo, <laughs> I hope you will do fine underground. Here you go. It's a nice way to remember what's up is because the Jumbo sign is up. So it's still in side, yes it is. Alright. Alright. Oh no, I will. Hmm. I, 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 don't, I don't want to have water in it for some reason, so it must be getting at such an angle that there will be no moisture in it, so I will flap this, flap this down like this, and then turn it like that, you see? So, now there will be no more moisture in it, and now, well, let's... Man, this is going to be hard to get even, get looser after a year, I think. The duct tape is so sturdy; it's even hard to uh, to get with the with the scissors through it. So basically, this is watertight. Hmm. And this too. I, I guess. I hope so. What do you think, guys? I'm not sure of it. If it's going to be a year on the ground, then well. I might pack it good pack it good. Uh, here we go. Okay, I already see some troubles rising now. I don't want to have if, if that is these flaps are coming up so that moisture can enter here somewhere so I'll we'll have to tape this all the way through Mm 
Oh. I'm sorry if I, if the if you don't get all the image because I'm struggling with this because the duct tape is very sturdy. Okay, I think I think we're done now. Have to be careful not to not to actually cut myself. So the package is ready. This is going to going to be buried tomorrow, uh, tomorrow afternoon somewhere in my back garden. Uh, I will be filming that too, and then uh, one year later, like I said, I will reopen it on the 30th of June of 2018. And I will hope that these items, this thing, will still work. And well, I guess my CD DVD writer or Blu ray writer will still work. And that the Sharkoon dock docking station will still work. Otherwise, I will just put the hard drive on, uh, on the SATA cable. I think SATA will still be around uh, in the one year. And the USB drive, I well, I expect no problems with that. So, guys, I see you uh, tomorrow. Hey guys, this is Snowy888 here. So what we are going to do now is bury this this thing I made yesterday, and it's a lovely day today. And we will see whether the devices in this box are still working after a year so to show you something about the location I will walk around my garden my messy garden and show you something this is uh, my garage which you see over there that's my house and that's the neighbor's house these are my fire fire um, well, fire uh, things you know where I put fire in and I have decided to bury you can see my stand here already I've decided to burn not to burn it <laughs> to bury it here next to this pole so I can find it back easily so I will bury it at this location so I will set the camera to its pole now it's kind of windy so you might hear some howling around I will set it to the all right like this maybe a bit lower maybe a bit closer and that will be the location so here we go And also I can use this footage as a frame of reference for when I need to dig it up next year at 1 July 2018. So I have terrible grounds around here. Uh, all my garden is uh, made on clay ground as you see. Because in the Middle Ages, this used to be a seabed, a seabed of the Dollard. I will show you uh, an old picture now of the Dollard and the location where I am now, so you have an idea what I mean.
Okay, let's see if the camera still is running. Yes, it's still recording. That's nice. <coughs> now the question is, how deep shall I bury it? I said something about half a meter. Well, that will be very tough in this so this kind of soil. So I think th I think a foot is deep enough, 30 centimeters. Whoa, it's hot here in the sun. I was planning to do this yesterday, but yesterday it was down, really downpouring here. So, that would be uh, not very pleasant. So it's now, and I also made a mistake. Yesterday it was not the 1 July, yesterday it was the 30 of June. I thought it was the 1 of July. Today is 1 of July 2017. But that doesn't matter. I will redig this on the 1st of July 2018 to see whether any of these items okay of any of these items will survive the journey let's see well that's a nice deep pit I guess it's about well 25 centimeters deep Let's put it in there. Let's try it. So, what do you think? <sighs> it's hot here. I'm standing right in the sun. Next to my next to my garage here and so there, there's not much wind here. So it's hot. So I will bury it now. And, well, I'm curious whether any of those devices will all still work in about a year. Oh, this is terrible ground to work with. It's all, it's all clay. The neat thing about clay is you can mold. Okay. Well, pity I don't have any grass left. Don't worry, in this garden anything grows. So. Right. Now, I will get myself a brick. I will use this brick to stamp the soil to a point in which grass can grow on it again. But I still have to be able to mow it with the lawnmower. So it must be fairly flat. Well, that's kind of look of, it's kind 
kind of looking promising. You can see how sticky this stuff is just by pounding it with a brick. So, I think this will do. I will stop recording now because also my phone is uh, directly in the sun and the Galaxy S7 has the tendency to overheat uh, very fast so I think this will do okay this is it this is it we'll be back at 1 July 2018 Alright, so what do you think guys, will the hard drive survive, will the CD-ROM drive survive, will the disk, floppy disk survive, or the USB stick, I don't know, I think, I, th I give the CD, the CD disk the most chance because it can endure moisture the hard drive well there has to be just a little moisture and it will fail the floppy disk is also uh, well a non-goer a bit moisture and it's kaput and probably the same goes for the USB stick although it works with flash cells so maybe that will survive so we will look into it in about a year see you guys in a year bye bye